All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to our live stream, another live stream for our 20 item. This time, we are going to discuss a 20 item prof ed that you have answered through your quizzes link. Okay, if this is your first time to watch us, we are Study Link Guru Pinoy, your premier choice for your review center, for your preparation for your upcoming licensure examination for teachers. Tuloy ng tuloy na po no, sa March 28, 2021. Of course, you can find us on YouTube. We have hundreds of videos that can help you pass the let on YouTube. Almost 100 videos for our live stream. You can also find us, of course, on Facebook. If you're watching us on Facebook right now, we are Guru Pinoy. Uh, make sure that you are following the correct Guru Pinoy. Make sure that you follow our page because we have all the updates that we have on our page. We also have a, a mobile app. We you can also be um, you can also find us on Instagram and on TikTok as Guru Pinoy. And of course, tonight we are going to be discussing the 20 item prof ed that uh, you have answered your quizzes link. But before that, let us all start with our opening prayer. This tale has been prepared for us by Brother Efren Esteban. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating opening prayer. Lord God, salamat po sa oras na ito na binigay niyo muli sa amin. Sa pagkakataon, Panginoon, salamat po sa maraming mga pagpapala at protection na dulot mo sa bawat isa sa amin. At Panginoon, kami po ay humihingi ng inyong paggabay muli sa amin pong gagawin sa oras pong ito. Sana po ay marami po kaming matutunan sa mga leksyon na aming aaralin po ngayon. Patuloy po nawa na tulungan mo po kami sa aming mga pangarap, Panginoon. Ibinibigay po namin ang lahat po sa inyo, Panginoon, dahil ikaw pong nagsabi na Kung kasama ka namin sa lahat ng pagkakataon ay tunay nga po na magtatagumpay po kami. Kaya Ama, sana po ay mapakinggan mo ang mga hiling po namin na ito. I-bless mo po ang family ni Ma'am Meg, ni Sir Ram, maging ang mga pamilya din po namin, Panginoon. Dalangin po namin ang buong bansa namin, buong mundo na nakakaranas pa po sa uh, pandemic. Sana po ay bumuti na ang kalagayan po namin, O Diyos. Naniniwala po kami sa inyo sa mga pangako mo sa bawat isa sa amin. Salamat po sa Panginoong Jesus na nagdulot po sa amin ng pag-asa sa buhay po na ito. Ama, ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. Samuli, thank you, Brother Efren and Seven, for always preparing our opening and closing prayers. Of course, GROW is our uh, vessel. No? GROW po is Gurung Pinoy Review Online Workgroup. This is our exclusive FB group. And this is where we send all the exclusive materials that we have. So all this is discussion that you are going to uh, be watching tonight, all the slides that I'll be using, all the questions. You can find this on GROW right after the live stream. Okay, so the po ito sa GROW. And this, of course, is one way for us to make sure that really you can Pass the lab. Okay, so Grow is Guru Pinay Review Online Work Group. It's very cheap to become a member of Grow. It's a thousand pesos only. This is a one time payment. You don't need to pay monthly. There's no recurring payment for this. You may pay through Palawan, Cebuana, or ML. Uh, the name, address, and phone number are there. If this is your first time to watch us, that person po is my sister in law. She's in Iloilo City. Uh, I am here in South Carolina, USA. And so right after you pay po, you send us a picture of your receipt. Okay, so mag-send po ng picture ng yung receipt through our Facebook page. And of course, uh, please wait uh, until we can reply, no? Because there is a 13-hour difference. So kung nakapaghulog po kayo, just recently, kanina yata may 50% off tayo, no? And so if you were following our Facebook page, nalaman nyo na uh, meron tayong 50% off kanina, kaninang araw lamang yun, no? For, just for uh, this Sunday. And so that would be 50% off for our grow and major ship, no? So again, if you have paid and if you have sent your receipt through our Facebook page, uh, kalma lamang po, we are legit, we are not scammers. There is a 13-hour difference between us. So if uh, right now it's 7.34 p.m. Uh, in the Philippines, it's 6.34 a.m. dito of Sunday in the U.S., okay? Dito sa South Carolina. So uh, I believe Sir Migs, my husband, is already starting to add you to grow or to your majorship. No, kakagising lamang po namin. All right, so you may also send your, your payments 
through Super Chat, Super Sticker, whatever. We have our live on YouTube. Okay, so again, that's a uh, 1,000 pesos for our group. This is for, of course, this is for March 2021 payment, okay? This is just for March 2021. Now, um, your pre-qualifying examination, of course, it was done today, no? Natapos yung inyong prof ed. For those people who are growers, sa mga member natin sa grow, natapos na po yung gen ed nyo and your prof ed nyo. 200 items in total. And of course, we are going to be giving major prizes, our major prizes, their, their rewards for studying hard and of course, for being able to top their, your pre-qualifying exam. Rank 1 is going to receive 10,000 in total. That's 5,000 cash and 5,000 gift certificates. Rank 2, that's 3,000 cash. Rank 3, that's 1,000 cash. Ranks 4 to 10, that's 500 cash ranks uh, 11 to 20 that's 500 gift certificates so then again i repeat this was just uh exclusive for our grow members if you were not able to answer this to our growers uh because of uh any any reason or for any reason you were not able to answer this we will be posting this on grow okay so kalimalamang po all the items and of course the the answers are going to be posted on girl i am taking some items from your pre-qualifying examination so that i can also do the live stream discussion on this okay so we will see um i will be still using some of the items from your pre-qualifying examination okay so again that's only for our growers so again if you are still not a member of grow it is very beneficial it's very advantageous so uh what are you waiting for you go now and uh you become a member of grow now all all the materials can be found on grow not only the things that uh we are discussing right now but also those things that you have missed you can still see all those files on grow okay so put lamang po sa grow just uh explore no if you are already a member of grow explore lamang po kung anong meron doon mag download ng pdf reader no and so that you can easily download all those materials and that uh you can print them Okay, so again, that's for your pre-qualifying examination. And these are the prices that so we have. Rank 4 to 10 special It's 500 cash. Kung hindi ka naman mapapabilang sa ating uh, may major prices for your pre-qualifying examination, tonight, meron ka pa rin chance na mag-win ng 500 cash through our mahiwagang tambyolo. Okay, hintayin nyo po yan, no? Yung ating tambyolo na nilagyan natin ng names ng mga naka-comment ng names nila kahapon, no? Sa, sa ating live stream for our Gen Ed. This still is part of our free First anniversary celebrate celebration, okay? So first year na po, no, one year na po yung Guru Pinoy, yung YouTube channel natin especially. All right, now intensive lab coaching, final coaching, of course, that's going to start on March 6th, 7th, 13th, 14th, 20th. Then we are going to have your pre-board on March 21st, final booster March 26th, spiritual guidance with Brother F and Esteban, that's March 27th, and of course your board exam that's going to be on March 28th. Now this still is free for our growers, no? Sweating, sweating mga grow members natin, especially yung mga nag-start with just 250 na payment, no? Napaka-swerte. And so this is still going to be free for them. If you are not a member of Grow but you want to join our intensive lab coaching, then you are going going to pay a thousand pesos okay that's one thousand no so magpa member na po kayo ng grow pareho lang naman sila sa membership ng grow but of course you will have more time to to prepare for your let maraming salamat sir mix or kales for your paayuda maraming salamat po and uh before i forget no next weekend pala no next sunday is going to be valentine's day so para naman mag uh mag giveaway sa mga pa date no online date ng ating may mga ka forever eh wala po tayong online wala po tayong live stream next sunday so i-move po natin meron pa rin po tayong gen ed and prof ed but we are going to move our schedule a bit no yung gen ed po natin will be on friday and your your prof ed will be on saturday so libre po kayo mag date on sunday no mag online date no uh, kung meron man kayong asawa eh pagluto niyo yung inyong missis no si si cup emerson so, Barbosa, magluto ka para, for, para sa iyong misis or kung meron kayong mister, no, ipagluto niyo yung mister niyo, isurprise niyo in whatever way, in your simple ways. Because of course, we believe that we shouldn't just wait for Valentine's Day. Every day should always be Valentine's Day dapat, no? And so, we are going to be moving your... Um, your uh, review, yung jet and yung po ay magiging sa Friday and of course, yung inyong... Prof Ed will be on Saturday. So abangan nyo po yan. I might make it a little earlier yung inyong Friday but because I have a, a staff meeting. Meron po kaming um, tawag dito, faculty meeting on Fridays. 
uh that that starts at eight eight o'clock no so i might uh move it a little a little earlier baka instead of 7 30 p.m may going kung 7 p.m so abangan nyo lang po make sure that you follow our facebook page okay and of course the quizzes links are also posted on our facebook page so that is the way that you can answer all the the 20 items that we are giving okay so again this intensive lab coaching and of course your majoring enrollment for bio english social science math filipino and mape is still at 1000 pesos kung naabutan yung kanina yung 50 percent off that should have been just 500 pesos no we still have our all-in-one enrollment for grow grow is gen at profit that's five it's 1000 a major is also 1000 but if you decide to to up, uh, apply no, or to to join both of them all-in-one enrollment po is only 1500 okay so that's another 500 off and uh you can also find our metro bank savings account there no now for your majoring for those of you who fall under these majorships you have your own coaches for your majoring okay and these coaches of course we are paying them that's why uh we we really need to also ask you to pay for your majorship okay i i have not included the slide for your majoring now what if your question is what if join a majorship you can still find all the materials the previous materials on your Google Classroom. So, nandun lang po sa Google Classroom yung inyong sets, different sets, uh, nakapag-anim na tayo na sets for Bio, English, Soxai, and Math, no? And also, your your six discussion, nandun na din po, dis discussion videos ninyo, nandun na din po. Yung Filipino and Math, uh, not Filipino, MAPE, Filipino and MAPE po pala, eh, nag- um, Four sets na din sila, no? So, pa limang sets na din yung ating Filipino and MAPE. Okay? So, again, just join us and you are guaranteed that you will be helped to pass the lab. Okay? We are legit. We are study like Gurung Pinoy. We used to have a review center in Iloilo. No? We closed it just last year. No, 2019. Because um, my husband is also already here in the U.S. Okay? So, hopefully, we will be back. We are planning to be back in the Philippines. Might be in 2023. And uh, hopefully, I can meet some of you and of course um we would we are planning to open our physical review okay but of course still right now we are doing our online review and you are all very lucky because of this pandemic it has actually become a blessing of disguise for us now we were able to open our youtube channel and share the knowledge that we have the skills that we have in taking the lab okay so that is your um payment all right now again if you have not liked this video yet you're watching us on youtube go ahead and watch this you uh and like this video now mag like na po kayo ng video go ahead mm -hmm. okay now if you are watching us on facebook again please do make sure that you react to this video like heart while this video hindi po angry ha? and of course uh also go ahead and share this video start a watch party we also have a button for our supporters now my, my button na po tayo for our supporters sa ating facebook your supporters we started with 1.99 dollars that's just 200 pesos no we're planning on giving exclusive videos then for our supporters okay so you can also be a supporter we're looking for the first 100 supporters of guru pinoy you can find that on our facebook page so you click click nyo lamang po yung uh, supporter button nyo yung malapit po sa message na button. Okay? So, become a supporter and you are going to be receiving your exclusive videos. Ma'am Joy Dairit, maraming salamat po sa inyong pakape. Alright, so again, uh, meron din po tayong enrollment for your LET September 2021. It's still also open. Your basic membership that's just for Gen Ed and Profit, that's 1250 For pro membership, that's uh, your majorship, that's 1500 Then, of course, your premium premium membership natin, Gen Ed Profit and Majorship, that's only going to be 2500 Okay, this is for LET September 2021. Your review is going to start on April 24, 2021. Now, this is, um, of course, our prices here are higher than the current price that we have for march 2021 but if you are part of the first 200 enrollees you are going to receive 50 percent off okay so 50 percent off po sa ating first 200 enrollees so of course uh, you need to hurry limited slots only ang ating available and of course uh, for you to make sure that you get the 50 percent off ay magpa register na po kayo for september okay for let september 2021 all right now of course uh tonight's main agenda is to discuss your uh, 20 item na prof ed, no? Puntan ko muna yung ating 20 item na prof ed. 
Okay, so professional education 20 item. Of course, these slides are going straight to grow right after our discussion. But before we start, magpick muna tayo ng first three. Okay, first tatlong uh, lucky winners for tonight. Okay, so again, they are going to win 500 cash. No? So 500 cash po ito. Uh, Doon sa mga nag-ask um, nag kung paano makikita yung rating sa inyong jet and profit na pre-qualifying, I will be posting that po in Grow. Okay, so I will be posting that on Grow. Maghintay lamang po kayo. All right, ready na ba kayo? Nangangatid na ba ang inyong mga kamay? Sa tingin nyo ba ay mananalo kayo ngayon, no? Uh, so again, we will be picking 12 people in total. All, all these people are going to be receiving 500 cash. This is still in celebration of our first anniversary of our YouTube, no, sa ating um, YouTube channel ng Guru Pinoy. And of course, we will be picking the first three right now. Okay, so tatlo muna. Uh -huh. We start with our first lucky winner. Pangalan mo kaya yung mabunot. Ayan na. Nelson Matugina of Team YouTube. Sir Nelson. Okay, congratulations. Sir Nelson, unang-unang winner natin. So number one, 500 pesos go to uh, Sir Nelson Matugina. Okay, number two, second lucky winner. Nasaan si Sir Nelson? Okay, next winner is Ma'am Irene Montefalcon. Nasaan si Ma'am Irene? Team YouTube ba si Ma'am Irene or Team Facebook? Okay, so second lucky winner, Ma'am Irene Montefalcon. And we proceed to our third winner right now. Okay, third winner. Third lucky winner is... Ma'am Trixie Escoto. Team YouTube din yata si Ma'am Trixie. Okay, Ma'am Trixie Escoto po, 500 din yung kanyang uh, prize. Okay, so these are the first lucky winners that we have for our 500 pesos na cash, no? And so we are going to, uh, to uh, we will go back to our magic tambiolo later, okay? So balikan po natin yan later. But for now, of course, balikan natin yung ating prof at the discussion. Okay, so balikan po muna natin yung... ating discussion. Okay, yan, nag-loading pa po siya. Okay, kalma lamang po. Congrats sa mga nanalo. Of course, we go back to our 20 item na discussion for your professional education. Hmm, ano nang nangyari? Okay, hang on. All right, so we proceed to your discussion for Prof. Ed. Congrats sa mga first three na nanalo. Of course, we are coming back for more lucky winners later. Okay? So, um, right after sa kalagitnaan, eh, magdadagdag tayo ng anim pa or tatlo pa. And then, uh, at the last part, eh, we are going to have the the six more. Okay? Six more na, na rocky, uh, rocky, lucky raffle winners. All right. We start with number one for your professional education. Number one, question one natin dito is for assessment. Standard deviation is to variability as mode is to blank. Is it letter A, correlation, letter B, level of difficulty, letter C, discrimination, or letter D, central tendency? What's the answer? What's the answer for question number one? Okay, nagahang na yata yung ating uh, nagahang yung ating live stream, no? Let me just go back to the live stream. Oh, nagahang nga po. So hopefully, okay na. Okay, kalma lamang po. Medyo may hang, no? Uh, Naglo-loading po ang aking laptop dahil sa inyong mahiwagang tambiolo. Nagkatambiolo din na itong at aking laptop. Ang aking uh, device. Okay, so hopefully maging okay na siya. 
Nakakatawa naman yung itsura ko. Okay, hang on po. All right, for those who are asking, of course, open po yung uh, open for all po yung ating quizzes. Okay, so open for all po yung ating quizzes. Uh, you can easily just go back to your quizzes. Um, that is open for all po. Okay, so yung ating pong uh, quiz I posted sa ating Facebook page. So make sure that you are following our Facebook page so that you can see our quizzes. Okay, so ma'am, ma'am, dinig naman po namin, ma'am, kaso yung video lang po nagahang. Yes, nagahanga yung video, no? Hindi niya kaya yung magic tambiolo. Okay, hang on po. Let me just uh, try to fix it. Kailangan ko yatang i-close itong aking magic tambiolo. Okay, hang on. It's still loading. Umiikot pa rin po yung tambiolo ng aking PowerPoint. Ah, uh, no need. I think it's in my in my device. Ah, okay. Hang on, po. Ah, uh, uh, we will be back. Okay. Sabi ni Sir Mix, eh, mo may problema na naman yung internet. Hang on, po. Wag nyo pong i-off. Ah, uh, maghanap muna kayo ng ka forever nyo. Malapit na yung Valentine's Day. Nagluko siya parang si.
Okay, hang on po. Uh -huh. Ang laki ng aking ulo. Okay, so hopefully nakakita na kayo ng inyong forever and we are back for question number one. No? Ayan, nakita nyo na yung answer tuloy. Maraming salamat, sir. Okay, so again, number one standard deviation is to variability as mode is to. The correct answer here, of course, should be central tendency. Okay, central tendency po ang correct answer dito. Tamang sagot natin, central tendency, that is letter D for number one. Now, going to your slide here, central tendency and variability are two very important measures that we are using in assessment. No? When you say central tendency, this is the measurement of our how of how close together the scores are. No? So, gaano ka-clump yung score mo? That is for central tendency. Now, ang kabaliktara nito, the synonym for this, or the antonym for this, of course, the, the opposite to the your variability and this is to measure how dispersed the scores are, how far apart the scores are from each other. Now, for your central tendency, you have the mean, that is the average, of course, the median, the middlemost score, and of course, the mode, the most frequently occurring score. Now, meron na po tayong video nito, uh, the mean, the, me, uh, the median, and the mode. Puntahan niyo po later sa ating YouTube channel, no? meron po tayong video na to, mean, median, mode, the central tendency, the measurements natin. Now, for your variability, you have the range, the variance, and standard deviation, okay? Now, again, your range is uh, the measure of uh, variability that is very easy to compute, no? Very obvious because this is just the highest score minus the lowest score. That's your variance. Of course, you also have uh, the range. And, of course, you have the, the variance then and standard deviation, okay? So, again, just go back to our YouTube channel later and make sure that you watch this video on central tendency, Okay, so again, the correct answer for number one would be central tendency. Central tendency po ang ating tamang sagot dito. Okay, now we go to number two. Question number two, you emphasize freedom of expression among your students. To which educational philosophy do you adhere? Is it letter A, progressivism, letter B, behaviorism, letter C, existentialism, or letter D, reconstructionism? What's the answer? Again, your hint here is freedom. You emphasize freedom of expression among your students. So which educational philosophy is this? Which school of thought is this? Now, a lot of you are answering letter C. No? Sa team YouTube, halos kalamihan yung sagot ay letter C. Dito sa team Facebook, sana lahat makahanap ng, nakakahanap ng forever. Sabi ni uh, Ma'am Anastasia Curso Pacheco, Hindi ba kayo nakahanap ng forever while waiting para makabalik kami? Okay, number two, the correct answer, of course, would be letter C. That's correct. Existentialism, no? Progressivism, of course, this is a modern method of teaching your, your kids, your students. Progressivism would consist of multiple intelligences theory, individual instruction, no? individual differences. Uh, that's progressivism. No? Sa lahat ng mga bago, discovery, this is already part of your progressivism. Experimentation even is um, part of your progressivism. Now, behaviorism, these are your component of education. No? Yung mga proponents nito would believe that you can actually make your students become whatever it is that you'd want them to be. It's only dependent on your environment. No, So you have to set your environment so that your students would become whatever it is that they they uh, you'd want them to be. So, po, pwedeng yung under din ang behaviorism mo, you also have the reward and punishment, your feedback, feedback mechanism mo, no, under din dyan yung uh, feedback some say behavior and of course under this you also have your classroom management kaya may routine sa inyong classroom kaya dapat clean yung classroom that's also because of behaviorism and also of course as a teacher as an adult inside the room as an adult in the house you should be a role model now you should be a good model to your child now reconstructionism this naman would believe that learning education should be should give the the kids the students the power to change the society into to, into something that's better no into the better so that would be reconstructionism now all this we've already discussed in this video that we have here kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood no if this is your first time to watch us on facebook maybe on youtube we have a video called isms of education panoorin nyo po to nandiyan na po lahat ng isms no na discuss na po dyan lahat ng isms natin okay so make sure that you watch this 
prior to taking the left. All right, now we go to number three. In Craswell's taxonomy of objectives in the effective domain, which is the highest level of effective behavior? Is it letter A, valuing? Letter B, receiving? Letter C, responding? Letter D, characterization? What do you think is the correct answer for question number three? We are talking about David Craswell's taxonomy of effective, effective uh, domain. Eh, ano kaya yung tamang sagot dyan, no? Hopefully, ay na-meet nyo na si David Crathwold at nakita nyo na tong different levels niya. Okay, is it letter D? A lot of you here are answering letter D. Okay, sa team YouTube, karamihan ang sagot ay letter D. Uh-huh. Ma'am Marife Tugonan Anasco, hello po, first timer sa team Facebook, welcome po. Mm -hmm. Ang um, ating team Facebook, yung sagot merong A, merong D. Okay, so may A, may D. Okay, now again, in Craftwell's taxonomy of objectives in the effective domain, which is the highest level, okay, highest level, tamang sagot po dito is letter D, that's characterization, okay, so letter D po, characterization is the correct answer for this question, okay, so letter D, characterization, this kasi are the different levels of uh, taxonomy ni David Craftwell no, in effective domain. You have RRVOC, tandaan po yan ha, RRVOC, receiving responding, valuing, organization, and characterization. Okay, so characterization for that is the highest level that we have. Least authentic nothing will be receiving, okay? That is the lowest level, okay? So that's receiving, responding, valuing, organization, and characterization. Again, that's RRVO, okay? Punta natin yung ating next slide. So when you say receiving here, the learner is willing to pay attention and listen with respect, okay? So you're just listening to someone, okay? So nag, nag, uh, nakikinig ka lang, but you are not actually responding pa. Wala pang response coming from you. Now, when you go to the next level, which is responding, the learner actively responds and participates, okay? So here, in receiving, your learner is just passively... The, the learner is just passively receiving information, no? So, nakikinig lamang siya. While in your responding, the, the learner is already actively engaged, no? He is all, already actively responding to whatever thing the person is talking about. Now, valuing mo, the person has already placed value on a behavior, idea, person, or situation, okay? So, nakita na niya yung kahalagahan ng isang bagay, ng kahalagahan ng isang value, no? So, uh, the person will say, ah, okay, yes, I know that this is important. I know that this is valuable, no? I know that this is precious, no? So, na-value na niya yung isang bagay, isang behavior. That's valuing. Now, organization, the person can already prioritize values and resolve conflicts between them, no? So, so, na-organize na niya, na-arrange na niya yung value, no? So, uh, for example, sasabihin, ay, Feb 14 is uh, Valentine's Day, no? Valentine's Day, Feb 14, I have a boyfriend. Yung boyfriend ko ay kating-kating, no? Um, kating-kating makipag-date sa akin, no? Uh, sabi ng boyfriend ko, sige na, mag-date tayo. For example, walang pandemic. Mag-date tayo, magkita tayo. But of course, kunwari, eh, meron kang face-to-face -face na na review no meron kang face to face na review sa sa study link and so you know when you when you have organization you know which one is more important you can already set your priorities okay so that will be organization now internalizing values this is your characterization na, na internalize mo na yung values the value system is internalized and controls behavior okay so you already have your value set meron kang value na na internalize mo nandiyan na sa character mo that's why we call this characterization okay so again, the highest level will be characterization, that's internalizing values, and of course, the lowest will be receiving, okay? That's for David Craftwell's taxonomy in effective domain. All right, now we go to number four, which of the following group activities provides an open environment in which group members can discuss their opinions without being judged as wrong? Is it letter A, boss session, letter B, forum, letter C, Philip 6, 6, or letter D, panel? What's the answer? Aha, uh -huh. kating kate sa Feb 14. Tama yan. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for number four? Number four na po tayo. Number four, mga kaibigan. Sana ay manalo mamaya sa Golden Tambiolo. 
Ilagay ko na lang yata yung golden tambiolo natin sa last part, no? Baka maghang ulit itong at aking device. Masyado na yata maraming, um, maraming tawag dito, maraming laman itong aking device. Ma'am Lizelle, Lizelle Bolivar Libuon, maraming salamat po for being a supporter. Thank you so much. Okay, so I am actually planning to make exclusive videos for our supporters. So again, if you want to receive those exclusive videos, eh, mag-support mag, mag na po kayo uh, sa ating Guru Pinoy. Sana all kating-kating na, sabi ni Sir Balisi Tom. Kakatawa tong mga comment ni Sir Tom. Okay, so the first, very first video that I am going to make for our supporter will be technology integration. Okay, so yung active, infusion, your adaptation, adoption, no? Uh, gagawa ako ng video for our supporters. Supporters alone. Uh, Sir Ralph Joseph Empainado, hi Mamek, ask ko lang po kung anong update ng PRC about sa pag update ng NOAA. Uh, nakapost na po ito sa ating Facebook page, no? nandun na po yung ating update with regards to your NOAA. Uh, we are very sorry for those na medyo na confused, no? medyo na rattle, but of course, uh, um, nandun na po sa ating Facebook page, nakapost na po. Thank you of course kay Sir Migs no? for going to, to PRC. Uh, hindi po si Sir Mix manaay, ah. si Sir Mix po ito na Sir Joski. Okay, so maraming salamat po. And of course, also to President Loreto Balikaw now for accommodating your questions. Alam ko sumabog yung, sumabog yung kanyang inbox kahapon. And also kay Sir Mon, okay, Lubrino for also uh, giving us some information. Meron din siyang tinex na uh, friend yata niya na from PRC. Okay, now uh, number four, which of the following group activities provides an open environment in which group members can discuss their opinions without being judged as wrong? Is it letter A, boss session, letter B, forum, letter C, Philip 66, or letter D, panel? The correct answer here, of course, would be the buzz. Okay, so buzz session. In this type here, you are only make, making chika, no? So nakikipag-chikahan lamang kayo. You can easily discuss your opinions without being judged as wrong, no? So walang judgment. Bawal judgmental sa the buzz. Okay, so that's a buzz session. Yung forum mo and panel, of course, are very similar. Your forum and panel, these are formal ways of conversation. No? So forum mo, usually, you are um, asking, or para siyang symposium na din, you are asking for the help of various experts no? and various opinions would be discussed. Yung panel mo, of course, you have a set of people. If you are thinking about your panel interview, you have a set of people who are asking you questions. No? And meron ka din naman panel na the students are made to ask questions to to ask questions no or the students are given opportunities to ask the panel their questions so that's your panel in philip 66 mo dito you're actually using the number 6 in several ways so for example you divide your class in six groups each group is going to have six members then they are going to have six minutes to discuss whatever it is that is given them or they're given six topics okay so there are there's the use of the number 6 in your philip 66 okay but here again the correct answer is letter a that's the boss session okay bus session book now we go to number five josie enjoys games like scrabble anagrams and password which type of intelligence is strong in josie okay ano kaya yung tamang sagot dito with regards to josie's intelligence mm -hmm. hmm Sir GR Lintogo na nakakatawa naman. Hindi na ako nakafocus dahil sa tambiolo. Kalma lamang po. Mamaya na yung tambiolo natin. Kawai-kawai sa mga first timer. Mga first timer, mag-comment na po para ma-welcome kayo ng team YouTube and of course team Facebook. Okay, kawai-kawai sa ating mga first timer. I see some first timers here, no? May, mga, may ibang mga nagko-comment. First timer, si Ma'am... Uh, may nakita ako kanina lang. Ma Mary Rose, thanks Ma Mac. I'm watching first time from Baez Negros Oriental. Maraming salamat po. Mga first timer natin sa team YouTube and over, also sa team Facebook. Kawai-kawai kayo dyan. Hello po. Di na ako aasa sa tambiolo, sabi ni Sir Al Rashid. Hello sa ating mga first timer din dito sa team Facebook. Maraming salamat po. Uh, 
Ma'am Sauda Matanog Abu Bakar, hello po. Balikan niyo po mamaya, ma'am, nakapost na po sa ating Facebook page. Yung uh, with regards to your NOAA. Okay, Josie enjoys games like Scrabble, Anagrams, and Passwords. Scrabble, anagram, Anagrams, and Passwords, of course, would have to do with words, okay? So which type of intelligence is strong in Josie? You know that this should be letter B, a linguistic, okay? So linguistic po to. Naturalistic mo are those people who have green thumb, no? Yung mga mahilig sa nature, of course, no? Yung mga plantitos, plantitas natin, those are naturalist, uh, naturalistic people, no? Yung naturali meron silang naturalistic intelligence. Kinesthetic mo naman, ito yung mga katingka. Kate, no? Yung mga kating-kate, yung mga kiti-kite, yan yung mga kinesthetic mo. Yung mga hindi mapakali, no? Yung mga um, palaging sumasayaw, yung mga mape, teachers natin, kinesthetic yan sila. Bodily kinesthetic. Yung mga coaches natin, no? Dancers, kinesthetic sila. Mathematical, of course, ito yung mga medyo geeky. Yung mga math majors natin, engineers, your um, mathematicians, of course, your even scientists can also have very high mathematical intelligence. Okay? So again, here, number five, Letter B po ang ating tamang sagot. Okay, linguistic. Okay, now, of course, remember, we have different types of intelligences according to Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences theory. Hindi lamang yung magaling magsalita yung intelligent because a long time ago, they consider intelligence to be closely related to the way you can talk, the way you can speak. So before, whenever you can talk really well, they'd say that you are very smart. But now we know that there are ver various types of intelligences, no? So if you are a parent, of course, if you are a teacher, make sure that you nurture whatever gift you have have uh, your your students have or your kids have no wag lamang mag-focus doon sa being linguistically smart no being word smart man din lamang number smart logical mathematical mo interpersonal there are some people who are people smart very sociable no interpersonal ito naman yung palaging nagfo-focus sa sarili yung mga um nag-i-introspect no yung palaging um um ine-examine nila yung kanilang sarili yung mga priests natin nuns no so interpersonal uh, intelligences meron sila musical smart of course you know this very common yung mga mahilig kumanta no yung musical musically inclined natin visual spatial ito naman yung mga marunong sa pictures no so pag pinagawa kayo ng um, graphic organizer sila wala nang wala nang ginagawang pagpapalit-palit ng papel, no? Wala nang scratch papers diretso. Alam nila kung paano i-lay out yung uh, inyong graphic organizer yung mga architects natin, mga art people natin, artistic people natin, visual spatial yan. And of course, naturalistic. I've already mentioned this, no? Yung nature smart, plantitos-plantitas natin. There is another one, your existential. Ito naman yung higher level na ng intelligence, no? Usually, hindi siya included dito, but that is another form of intelligence na dinagdag din Howard Gardner. So, existential mo naman, these are people who are asking about our existence. Why do I exist? What is the purpose of my life? Where am I going to? Do you know? Okay, do you know where you're going to? Yan yung mga existential, intelligent people natin. Yung medyo malalalim na mag-isip. Okay? So, again, these are multiple intelligences by Howard Gardner. Now, we go to number six. A good classroom manager has eyes on the back of his head. This means that the effective teacher has eye contact with his students, gives penetrating looks to his students, looks at his students from head to toe when he expresses legitimate anger, or letter D is aware of all actions and activities in his classroom. What's the answer? Ah, uh, yung mga single dyan. Kawai kawai. Kawai kawai sa mga single. Pag may sing uh, pag single kayo, ano 'yan? Blessing 'yan kasi wala kayong poproblemahin, no? Let lamang poproblemahin niyo ngayon. Ay yung mga first timer natin, hello po dito sa team Facebook. Sir Jasper Flores, first timer, hello po. First timer from Tuguegarao City. Eldridge or Idrich J, Agkawili Tuna, Sir Idrich, hello po. First timer from Digos Davao, Ma'am Jonalyn Ngo, hello po. Welcome. First timer, Ma'am Jezebel M. Petilia. Hello po and welcome to Team Facebook. Welcome, Ma'am Rosel Tangilen. First timer watching from Apayao. First timer, Ma'am Hera Aninyon. Maraming salamat po. First timer from Cavite, Ma'am Nel Ann. Welcome po. First timer, Sir Michael Pelinio Nocos. Welcome to Team Facebook. Uh-huh. Okay, Ma'am Lori May Vedania, first timer then. Ma'am Ia Sibi from Lano del Sur. Hello po, first timer. Ma'am Chris 
15, okay? Naka-separate yung Christine niya. Ma'am Marife Tugonan Anasco, first timer, OFW. Ingat po kayo dyan, Ma'am Ma Marife. Saan po kayo? First timer from Zamboanga del Sur, Ma'am Annelien Paradero Rivero. Ang daming first timer dito sa ating team Facebook. First timer from Cagayan Valley, Ma'am Na Iram Nana Reref. Okay, ang hirap po ng name niyo, Ma'am. Uh -huh. First timer from Pagadian City, Ma'am Neri Bangwis. Thank you po for sharing the video. Who else are first timers here? Ang daming first timers dito sa ating, uh, sa ating Facebook ngayon. Ma'am Jing Maranyon Pascual, first timer from Cagayan Valley. Hello po. First timer. Ah, okay. Okay na to si ma'am. Ma'am, ang galing nyo po magpaliwanag. Kahit blind po ako, madali ko na naiintindihan. Salamat po, ma'am Mech. This is coming from Sir Oliver F. Mohar. Sir Oliver yata is one of our scholars. Tama po ba, Sir Oliver? Scholar yata to ni Sir Mix Manaay. First timer from Double City. Yes, si ma'am Lori May. Nabasa ko na po. Uh -huh. Okay, so karamihan sa inyo, letter D yung sagot for this item. First timer from Albay, Sir Noel Obligasyon Romualdo. Hello po. Advantage ng single, makakapag-ipon ka, promise. Another tip, kapag wala kang jowa, chat mo ko. Aba, Sir Daryl, Sir Daryl Viray, wala kaya yata kahapon. First time from Lapu-Lapu City, Sir Richki Jeff. Hello po. Watching from Iloilo. Hello, ma'am. Kumusta? Ma'am Jonna Lynn, first timer from Misamis Oriental. Ma'am Janice Tutas Albino, first timer. Ma'am Jacqueline Luge. Pa shout out, Sir Lara. Ma'am Lara Jeron Flores. Hello po. Okay, a uh, first timer. Ito, first timer from Isabella. Ma'am Karen Joy Nasino. Sir Kiko Lumbao Daza Quintana, first timer from Solosogon. First timer from Cagayan de Oro. Ma'am Ann Makiling, first timer from Bukidnon. Ma'am Irene Gomez, first timer, Sir Junjet Famorcan. Maraming salamat po. Ang dami natin first timer dito ngayon. Maricel, Ma'am Maricel Bolanos, Garcia Ras, Sir Mohamed Ali, Timpolok Ibrahim. Assalamu alaikum po sa mga taga Mindanao, mga brothers and sisters natin na Muslim dyan. Hello po. Asa, nasa Malaysia pala si Ma'am Marife Anasco. Okay, ingat po kayo dyan. Ma'am uh, Ma Rodjin. First timer from Subic Zambales. Ang daming first timer. Hello po, kawai kawai again. Sa ating mga first timer, hello po, welcome. We are Gurung Pinoy. We are studying Gurung Pinoy. I am Ma'am Mek, M-E-C. That's Maria Eva Claire po, no? And of course, we welcome you to our live discussion tonight. We have this every weekend. So 20 items for Gen Ed for Saturdays and 20 items for Profit for Sundays. And uh, between those weekends po, I also upload some videos, no? Some of the videos from my classes, my actual classes here in South Carolina. USA. So my science classes I also upload. Bio classes I also upload. Physical science sometimes I also upload. And of course, uh, uh, we have so many videos that can help you pass the let. Nasa YouTube po namin, especially no, hanapin niyo po ang YouTube channel natin na uh, Guru Pinoy. And of course, our live stream videos, there's more than 70 videos na live stream natin. No? Balikan niyo po yan. If you want to become a member of GROW and you want to have a copy of all these things that I'm discussing, no? pwede niyong i-download, pwede niyong balik-balikan. Nasa GROW po siya. GROW po is our exclusive Facebook group. Okay, that's Gen Ed Prof Ed. So mag-send po kayo ng message sa ating Facebook page if you are still not a member of GROW. And of course, um, meron din po tayong majorship na biology, English, math, there's social science, there's MAPE, and there's Filipino. So mag-send lang po kayo ng message ninyo sa amin. Okay, now going back to the question that we have here, Having eyes on the back of his head, of course, this means that the, uh, the classroom manager, the teacher, should be aware of all actions and activities in his classroom. So, dapat e nakikita mo kung anong nangyayari inside your classroom. That's why, uh, that's the reason why when you, whenever you are writing on the board, dapat hindi ka nakatalikod sa inyong mga isudyante. Dapat e nakatilt ka, no? naka 45 degree angle ka, hindi ka nakatalikod. And of course, as a teacher, there's so many things that's being asked from us, no? You should be a really good manager. You should be really good at multitasking. So, dapat alam mong gawin. Yung, um, maraming bagay, no? So, maraming bagay kang ginagawa. Um, you should really have 
eyes on the back of his head, hindi lamang nga sa back ng head mo, no? halos lahat ng parte ng katawan mo, dapat may eyes ka. Dapat alam mo na yung student 1 mo at yung student 2 mo ay nag, uh, nag-e-espadahan na, no? nagsasaksakan na using their mongol, no? using their pencil. So dapat you should be aware of everything that is happening inside your classroom. Okay? That's of course, according to Jacob Kunin. No? This is uh, again, according to Jacob Kunin, which is what we call with itness, having eyes on the back of your head. Okay, so letter D, ang tamang sagot dito. Now, we go to number seven. In Craswell's effective domain of objectives, which of the following is the least authentic? We have just talked about this. Is it responding, receiving, characterization, or valuing? What do you think is the correct answer? Okay, what is the correct answer? Welcome po sa mga first timer dito sa team YouTube. Hello po. First time, uh, si Sir Jong, 1987 Tongs from Tandubas, Tawi-Tawi. Hello po and uh, welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, first timer, okay, nabasa ko na pala, si Sir Jong. Uh huh. First timer from you uh here on YouTube from Toledo City Cebu. I love this Guru Pinoy. Marami akong natutunan kapapanood. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Josephine Lebum Fasil from Cebu. Hello po, kumusta yung mga taga Cebu? Uh, Ma'am Richelle Gaitano, first timer from Quezon Province. Hello po, first timer from Josco Comedia. Puerto Princesa City, Palawan, DMC's Action TV. Aba, pa-channel na tong um, pangalan mo, sir, no? YouTube channel yata ito ni sir. Kawai-kawai sa mga team Luis, Luisans teacher who are watching. Hello po. Kay sir Jervy Bukala. Hello po. Lahat ng mga Luisans. First timer from Cebu, Ma'am Jackie Al Alcaya. Hello po. Uh -huh. First timer from Cebu. Uh, okay, nabasa ko na si Ma'am Jackie Alcaya. All right, now going back to Craswell's effective domain, we have just discussed this now. So sabi ko, RRVOC. RRVOC, no? So the lowest level, of course, would be receiving. Receiving, then responding. Valuing, no? Then there's organization. Then, of course, there's characterization. Okay, so that's RRVOC for David Craswell's effective domain. Okay, so receiving here is the correct answer. We're looking for the least authentic. Least. That means the lowest level, okay? Now, the let sometimes there is a common question in the let, no? It's asking for the lowest level in Craswell's effective domain, but there is no receiving, no? The lowest there would be responding. And so, of course, your answer will be responding kasi wala receiving. Okay? Now, we go to number eight. Cognitive is to knowledge. As effective is to blend. Is it letter A, rights? Letter B, skills? Letter C, obligations? Or letter D, values? What's the answer? First time, Mamriza King. Hello, Paul. Welcome sa team Facebook. First time from Ipugao, Ma'am Lorna Nalin. Hello po, welcome. Pasok po kayo. Diretso po sa kusina. Uh -huh. First time from Tandubas, Tawi-Tawi. Assalamualaikum po, Sir Sheriff U. Haji Indal. First timer, Ma'am Vinos Piedra Verde. A shout out from Bohol, Sir Tapa Joseph, hello po. First time from Malasike, Pangasinan, Ma'am Sherlyn Salazar. Uh, merong Luisian dito, si Ma'am Jezanaya Langgao Orsit. First time from Kap Kapastarlap, uh, Ma'am Kiara Neil Miklat Alfonso, hello po. A shout out from Cagayan Valley, Ma'am Nya Nairam Jana Ref. Okay. Ligwa, sabi ni Ma'am Lori, Lori May. Okay lang po yan, hindi pa naman po uh, actual eh. Sir Dennis Flores Brade, isa sa ating mga parokyano. Hello po and thank you for sharing our video. Mga parokyano, kawai-kawai, first timer, Ma'am Normila Makapando. Hello po. Ang mga parokyano natin, yung mga masyosyonda, sabi ni Ma'am Tino, yung mga matatanda na dito sa team YouTube, no? sa team Facebook. Matatanda na sa Gurung Pinoy. Huwag mo namang dibdibin, Cap Emerson. 
dinididib niya eh. Pag sinabihang matanda, daw dinididib ni Cap. Okay, now, uh, cognitive is to knowledge as effective is to, of course, the correct answer here would be letter D, values. Cognitive kasi, whenever you are thinking about your cognitive, um, cognitive, no, cognition mo, that is, uh, that has something to do with knowledge, no? So, Bloom's taxonomy mo, that's cognitive taxonomy. Then, of course, effective domain, uh, we have just talked about this, David Crathol's effective domain, no? That's with regards to values, okay? So, values, letter D, that is the correct answer here. Now we go to number nine. You want to generate as many ideas as you can as your class is about to embark on a class project for senior citizens. Which of the following will you employ? Is it letter A, brainstorming, letter B, role playing, letter C, brainwashing, or letter D, simulation? What's the, the answer? Newbie from Bohol, a student, Sir Edward Rodriguez. Okay, very good po. Napaka very good din ang mga estudyante nating mga always nakikinood no yung mga second year college, third year college, fourth year college, nakikinood na sila, nagre-review na sila. First time po from Jensen. Hello po, Sir Nelson Torado Terinal. Welcome po. First time from Davao, Mamili Tem Temple or Temple. Second timer from Isabella, Sir Eugene Karag. Hello po. Yes, ang daming first-timer dito sa, sa Facebook. Okay, sobrang dami ng first-timer dito sa ating Facebook. First time from Santo Tomas Davao del Norte, Sir Jakeson. Hello po, pa-shout out from Misamis Oriental, uh, Ma'am Lynn Ensen. From Sablayan, Occidental Mindoro, Mamay Lynn, Bidiones, Manuel Liberato. Hello po. Mm -hmm. Sir Kenichi Lorbe Sabi ni Sir Kenichi dito May mga sagot na sila Sa akin di pa nalabas yung tanong Gumagapang yung internet niyo sir Okay, what do you think is the correct answer here for number nine? You want to generate as many ideas as you can as your class is about to embark on a class project for senior citizens. Which of the following will you employ? Your hint here is to generate as many ideas as you can. And of course, this should be brainstorming. Okay, brainstorming po ang tamang sagot. So you are just giving, uh, generating as many ideas as you can. No? Kumukuha ka lang ng lahat ng ideas. Now, there is a common question in the left. As a teacher, you are using the strategy of brainstorming how can you become successful in using this strategy now of course if you are using brainstorming as a teacher dapat eh, you should suspend your judgment dapat wala kang judgment para hindi mag-alangan yung mga estudyante mo na magbigay ng kanilang idea no suspend your judgment uh, so that your your students would give as many ideas as they can Okay, role-playing, alam na alam natin to, no, yung mga drama-drama, yung mga skip, pinagawa to sa inyo ng inyong teacher dahil tamad siya magturo. No? So, i-submit na lang, bibigyan na lang sa inyo yung topic, tapos i-role-play nyo na lang. No? That's role-playing. Brainwashing naman, this is um, the negative form of um, mental conditioning. No? So, bini-brainwash mo siya, binibilog mo siya, ini-influence mo yung kanyang thinking. That's brainwashing. Simulation, of course, this is when you give your students a chance to to practice real life activities for example voting for their student government that is a form of simulation no um selling in a sari sari store no in a game a sari sari store that is simulation okay so these are different strategies that we may use meron po tayong video on youtube on the differences between teaching methods teaching uh, teaching strategies no teaching techniques balikan niyo po yan meron po tayong uh, video on that no ano po ba yung pag pagkakaiba ng teaching methods, teaching strategies, teaching techniques, no? Uh, so again, uh, puntahan nyo po yung ating uh, YouTube channel later. That's Guru Pino. You can see a lot of videos there. And these videos, of course, are all beneficial so that you can pass the let. Okay, so again, number nine, that's brainstorming for you. Letter A. Now we go to number 10. Which of the following does not represent a teacher's contribution to the emotional environment of the classroom? Is it letter A, a strident, compelling voice? Letter B, a sustain, sustained sense of expectation where student achievement is concerned? Letter C, a well-written lesson let, lesson plan? No. Letter D, a sense of humor in a tense situation? What's the answer for number 10? 
Mm -hmm. Sir Oliver Mohar. Okay, so ito si Sir Oliver Mohar, yung student natin na blind, no? Mamek, nag-blend na po ako noong 2019, pero hindi po ako nakapasa. Okay lang po yan, sir. 2021 po, isusuwertihin po kayo. Okay, so wag pong mawala ng pag-asa. Go lang po ng go. Wala na pong limit yung, yung let, no? Pero of course, eh... Uh, ugaliin po natin na mag-review tayo. This is for everyone, of course. No, uh, Make sure that you are prepared for your let. Make sure that you are prepared for any battle that you that you attend. No, You are preparing for war. So, dapat marami kang ammunition, marami kang bala. Okay, brainstorming. Sabi dito ni Ma'am Mercy Zerudo Kiroy, lumabas na po ito sa let September 2019. Yung uh, previous question natin, yung number 10 ba ito, Ma'am? Or number, number 9 yata yung sinasabi ni Ma'am? Okay, so again, all these questions are from the previous let sets, no? Previous let, because we took this from the feedback of our students, no? So, galing po ito sa ating mga students. And so, we know that these are coming out in the let. So, wag po kayo maniniwala may ibang tao na hindi, sasabihin na hindi ito lumalabas or whatever. Maaaring i-paraphrase ng, ng PRC, maaaring ibahin niya yung uh, words na kanyang gagamitin, o kanyang uh, gagamitin sa sentence, sa question. But of course, the concept is still just the same, okay? So make sure that you learn the concept. You learn nyo po yung inyong concept. Okay? So go lang po ng go. Huwag po kayong panghinaan ng loob. Uh, makinig lamang po palagi. Mag-attend po ng ating live stream. No? Yung live stream naman natin ay libre. No? Libre naman itong live stream. May payment lang if you want to become a member of GrowGen at Profit natin because yung, yung advantage mo doon is of course makaka-join ka sa mga major exams natin like ng pre-qualifying exam natin. Kakatapos lang today. And of course uh, you can have a copy of all these things that I'm discussing. No? So you can just easily download it and print it. And of course yung majorship nyo. Importante naman na mag-attend kayo talaga ng majorship nyo review because uh, your majorship is very technical. No? So technical your majorship nyo. And of course, you know that your majorship would comprise 40% of your rating. So napakahalaga po na alam nyo yung majorship nyo na um, more or less in a master nyo yung majorship nyo. Okay, and of course, uh, I have just introduced our, our supporter, no? If you become a supporter, eh, gagawa po ako ng mga videos that would only be exclusive for our supporter. So, I think I already have some supporters. Si Ma'am Lizelle Libu, oh, nagpa-supporter na po siya. You can find the supporter button near the, the messenger button sa ating Facebook. Okay, yung Facebook po natin, eh, meron na ding ad. May in-stream ads na din tayo. So, congratulations to... Team Facebook for also having our being able to have the in-stream in ads na sa ating videos. No, wala yata, bawal yata yung in-stream ads sa live stream. But of course, sa mga videos na ina-upload natin, po, pwede po tayong maglagay ng ads. Please don't skip ads, especially to those people who are watching us on YouTube. Huwag pong mag-skip ng ads. Of course, that is one way also for you to help Guru Pinoy. Okay, now going back to the question that we have here, which of the following does not represent a teacher's contribution to the emotional environment, okay? We're talking about the emotional environment, no? Emotional environment, yung environment, yung estado ng emosyon ng inyong um, estudyante inside the classroom. So which among these cannot, no, does not represent a teacher's contribution, Okay, is it a strident, compelling voice? Nakakaapekto ba sa inyong damdamin? Nakakaapekto ba sa inyong um, sa inyong um, mindset inside the classroom? Pag maganda yung boses ng, ng teacher, no? Strident, compelling voice. A sustained sense of expectation where student achievement is concerned. Paulit-ulit sinasabi ng teacher, no? Or for example, ako, paulit-ulit, parang silang plaka. Prepare for your let, no? You have to really prepare for your let. Read everything that you can read, no? Make sure that you are preparing properly make sure that you are watching or you are um listening to the proper instructions no proper proper rationalization no? so that's a sustained sense of expectation well written lesson plan this is of course something that's written this is your lesson plan this is uh, your blueprint whenever you are giving your lessons remember your your lesson plan should not be fixed it should not be rigid that is just your blueprint but if something happens and you can you should just easily divert from your lesson plan po pwede ka dapat mag divert or po, pwede mo siyang i-revise a bit. Uh, alam na, alam natin to. So, for some of you are already teaching, you know that your lesson plan should not be fixed. So, sometimes, uh, meron kang klase sa umaga at meron ka din klase sa hapon. No? Yung klase mo sa umaga usually ay nagiging practice session mo. Nakikita mo, ay, meron pala akong mali dito. Meron pala akong wrong spelling. For example, sa PowerPoint presentation, 
pero parang uh, dapat pala eh, gawin ko lamang 5 minutes ito. Masyado mahaba yung 10 minutes. Okay? So, again, your lesson plan should just be a blueprint. Dapat eh, hindi ka i- i- um, inhibit ng iyong lesson plan. No? Okay, letter D, a sense of humor in a tense situation. Of course, it's very important whenever we have glitches in our technology. You've seen me, we have, we've already had several glitches sa ating internet that we have to turn off the internet and put it back on. Uh, you know that I'm, I'm just doing everything I can to um, keep you entertained and of course, I tell you to look for your forever. No, So whenever something is tense in a tense situation, you should be able to also make use of your sense of humor, okay? The correct answer here, of course, does not represent a teacher's contribution to the emotional environment would be letter C. That's a well-written lesson plan. This is only for the teacher. This is your blueprint. This is your guide in delivering your lesson, okay? So that's letter C. For number 10. Okay, so letter C po. Diretso po muna tayo. Huwag po muna tayo magbumalik sa ating magic, magic ambyolo at baka maghang na naman po tayo. Okay, so diretso po tayo sa number 11. San po makikita ang support button, ma'am? Apple, May, Katipay, Mahumot? Nandyan po. Punta po kayo sa ilalim po ng chat, no? May, kung magko-comment po kayo, ma'am, di ba? I-click nyo yung comment. Tapos i-exit nyo po. Meron po kayo makikita ang share button. May comment. Yung support button po, yan pong green na may heart. Okay, now number 11, based on Piaget's theory, what should the teacher provide in the formal operational stage? Is it letter A, games and other physical activities to develop motor skills? Letter B, learning activities that involve problems of classification and ordering? Letter C, stimulating environment with ample objects to play with? Or letter D, activities for hypothesis formulation? We're talking about Jean Piaget's theory, no? cognitive development theory, and we are being asked for the formal operational stage. What do you think um, is the correct answer here? What should the teacher provide if your students are at the formal operational stage? Okay, what do you think is the correct answer? Ligwak, sabi ni Ma'am Medef Tinudra, Tanudra, no? isa sa, sa ating mga parokyano dito sa team Facebook. Okay, kawai-kawai sa mga masyosyonda, Masyosyonda, no? matatanda dito sa ating team. Hindi naman matanda na age-wise, Sir uh, Emerson, no? Kap, hindi age-wise yung sinasabing matanda. Ah. Matanda lamang sa group. Yung mga uh, napagdaanan lahat, ma nagmula sa, ano, no? sa paunang raffle natin, hanggang sa acquaintance party natin, hanggang sa Christmas party natin, no? pinagdaanan lahat ng ating mga masyosyonda. Okay? Mga Mat matatanda sa team, sa team YouTube at sa team Facebook. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for uh, question number 11? Okay, so again, based on Pichet's theory, what should the teacher provide in the formal operational stage? Is this letter A? Uh, Games and other physical activities to develop motor skills. Letter B, learning activities that involve problems of classification and ordering. Letter C, stimulating environment with ample objects to play with. Or letter D, activities for hypothesis formulation. The correct answer here, of course, would be letter D. Tama po yan. Letter D, no, formal operational stage. And so we need activities for hypothesis formulation. Letter D is the correct answer for... Question number 11. Now, going back, medyo blurry siya, no? Going back to uh, Jean Pesce's cognitive development theory. Again, remember, I've already given you your mnemonic for this, no? Meron na tayong mnemonic nito. Smart people cook fish. Okay? So, smart people cook fish po. That's sensory motor. Pre-operational, concrete operational, formal operational. Okay? So, sabi dito, sensory motor mo. Zero to two years, the infant ex explores the world through direct sensory and motor contact. Object permanence and separation anxiety develop during this stage. So, sensory mo motor mo, zero to two years, ang infant mo dito would explore through senses. Okay? Through through his or her senses. Kaya na, napaka-importante na nakikita ka meron mga mobile no yung mga nakakabit sa crib ng anak mo yan yung tinatawag na mobile yung may sound umiikot-ikot may different shapes or no? different sounds merong uh, mga mga animals minsan no that's the mobile because of course your child here is learning through his or her senses okay so meron ding pinapa 
pinapakinggan mo yung anak mo ng ng music no sometimes even nasa loob pa lamang ng chan yung bata no P- na, na nakikinig ka na kay uh, kay kay Mozart no or Beethoven okay so again that would be your sensory motor stage uh, object permanence mo dito ito yung tinatawag na yung pag sinabi kasi yung object permanence pag wala pang object permanence yung bata kung wala yung isang bagay sa harap niya akala ng bata ay hindi nag-exist yung yung bagay na yan kaya enjoy na enjoy dito yung bata sa peekaboo no so pag tinakpan mo yung mukha mo hindi ka nakikita ng bata hindi ka din niya maiisip that would be uh, that would mean that wala pang object permanence yung bata okay so he thinks that you are gone so nagugulat siya kapag ka ino-open mo yung hand mo nakikita niya yung maganda mo mukha, no? Pogi mo mukha. Okay? So that's object permanence. Once na na-establish na nung bata yung object permanence, alam na niya na even if something is not in front of him or her right now, that something or that person exists, no? So medyo may st- separation anxiety na yung bata. Pag nag-buy yung nanay, alam na niya na yung nanay niya would exist kahit na wala yung nanay niya sa, sa harap niya, that nanay exists. And so, ayaw na niyang ma- mawalay, no? Sa kanyang magulang, ayaw na niyang mawalay sa kanyang uh, mami especially no that separation anxiety now pre operational 2 to 6 years old the child here uses symbols words and images to represent objects but does not reason logically no wala pang logical na reasoning the child also has the ability to pretend during this stage the child is egocentric okay so yan yung um yan yung pinaka importante dito na na characteristic ng anak mo during 2 to 6 years old no egocentric yung bata pre pre preschool din no egocentric the bata would always say me 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 no so uh, enjoy na enjoy yung bata katulad ng anak ko she's just turning 4 so whenever we have sometimes uh, the dad yung daddy niya at siya ay magkakanta or sasayo in front of me and then she'll say who are you going to pick mom i think mommy is going to pick me 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 i'm the best i'm the best no so that's pre operational the child is very egocentric no the child is very selfish the child thinks that whatever he or she can see that is also what other people can see, you know, so egocentrism, that's a typical characteristic of a child in your pre-operational stage, no? and of course, the child here practices animism, Kin- uh, kinakausap ng child yung electric fan, yung pintuan, no? pag nauntog siya sa, sa wall, eh, um, ihihit din niya yung wall, sasabihin niya, you're bad, no? so that's animism, and of course, sim- ay, meron ka ding um, um, symbolic representation dito, yung uh, palaging nag imagine yung bata, na siya si Spider-Man, siya si Wonder Woman, siya si Darna, no? Uh, or minsan, eh, gusto-gusto ng anak ko yung mermaid, no? So, mermaid, mermaid yung bata. That's still under pre-operational stage. Now, also under your pre-operational stage, yung tinatawag natin centration, yung yung bata, yung anak mo ay nakafocus lamang sa isang bagay. So, bibigyan mo siya ng uh, 10 piso na isang barya, na yung coin na uh, 10 peso, 10 peso coin, at bibigyan mo siya ng 5, uh, 5 pesos na piso-piso, 5 pirasong tigpipiso, so, pipiliin niya yung limang pirasong tigpipiso, no? Because the child has no idea of uh, the value. Yung child damang po nakafocus sa isang parte, isang aspeto ng isang bagay. So, that's what we call centration, no? Nakita niya na mas marami. So, for her, that's better, no? For her, that's the better choice. Kahit hindi, no? Uh, so, pwede, pwede mo pang bilugin yung ulo ng anak mo dito, no? Pwede mo pang lokolokohin yung bata no hindi pa niya alam yung value wala pa siyang fix minsan na uh, especially younger no mga 2 3 4 hindi pa masyado marunong sa breakfast lunch dinner wala pa siyang idea masyado ng ng morning noon at night now concrete operational this is already the school age school, school age na yung bata na 7 to 12 years old the child can think uh, think logically about concrete objects and can thus add and subtract no meron ka ng tinatawag na reversibility there's reversibility the child also understands conservation. Okay, so conservation dito, this is the opposite of centration. So, uh, sinabi ng conservation, if you have a child no, na meron kang um, binigyan mo ng two glasses of, of water with equal amount of water, no, tapos nilipat mo siya sa taller, thinner glass, pag yung child mo ay nagsabi na mas marami yung amount ng ng thinner glass mo, ng taller glass mo, that means nasa pre-operational pa lang yung anak mo, no? The the child still has centri- uh, centration, naka-focus pa lang siya sa isang aspeto ng isang bagay. But if the child is able to say that ah, they have the same amount of water even if this glass is thinner, it is taller, both of them have the same amount of water. Then that means the child already has conservation, decentration na siya, no? Ayun yung tinatawag nating decentration 
concentration, hindi na siya nakasenter lamang sa isang aspeto ng isang bagay. And of course, your child has reversibility. The child can already subtract. The, the child already understands that subtraction is the opposite of addition. Okay? So that's for your concrete operational. Another thing that you have to remember about concrete operational is seriation. No? So your child mo dito is already able to, to make series. So that means the child is already able to arrange things from smallest to uh, biggest, for example, no? But here, of course, the child would easily learn by using concrete objects. So concrete objects pa rin kailangan mo. Formal operational, the adolescent can reason abstractly and think in hypothetical terms, okay? So marunong na siya ng logic, marunong na siya ng hypothetical, no? Na, na thinking, marunong na siya ng, ng reasoning. That's formal operational. So again, for Piaget, smart people cook fish. That's sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, and formal operational. Make sure that you know all the differences here, all the characteristics that are given in these various steps that we have for cognitive development, okay? Now we go to uh, number 12, contra contrary to Freud's concept that the primary motivation of human behavior is sexual in nature, Ericsson's is blank in nature. We've talked about this, I think, in our previous Prof. Ed, no? Last weekend yata, meron din tayong uh, similar questions, so I'm pretty sure you know this. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for... Question number 12. Halfway na tayo, nalampas na tayo halfway. Mm -hmm. Maraming salamat for those of you who have been sharing our video, starting a watch party sa ating mga top fan. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Eka Santa Cruz, Ma'am Mary Jean Martinez Jaime, maraming salamat. Our supporters, Ma'am Lizelle Bolivar Liboon, maraming salamat po. Thank you. That's on Team Facebook. Okay, number 12. Again, this is a repeat question. You've already seen this last weekend. Sa atin yatang uh, Prof. Ed last week, ay meron na tayong ganito. Okay, contrary to Freud's concept that the primary motivation of human behavior is sexual in nature, Erickson's is blank in nature. The correct answer here, of course, would be letter D. That's social in nature. Okay, so social in nature, that is the correct answer. Sir John Leong, our top fan, maraming salamat po. Okay, now going back to Sigmund Freud's psychosexual stages, no, makinig. Okay, so these are the different stages in your psychosocial stage or psychosexual stage according to Sigmund Freud, Lolo, Lolo Sigmund Freud nyo, no? That's owls, yung mnemonics ko dito, owls always play late games. Again, that's owls always play late games. That would be oral stage, anal stage, phallic stage, latency stage, and gentle stage, no? And of course, they all have their age ranges. Now, so oral stage mo, the children here derive pleasure. They get pleasure from oral activities, including sucking and tasting. They like to put things in their mouth, no? So kahit anong madampot ng bata, ilalagay niya sa kanyang mouth because they get pleasure from oral activities. That's your oral stage, no? That would be for your oral stage. Now, anal stage mo, children begin potty training here, no? They're, um, they derive Derive pleasure from toilet training, no? From from the use of their anus. Okay, so that's your anal stage, phallic stage. Boys are more attached to their mother. This is what you call their Oedipus, your Oedipus complex. And uh, and girls are more attached to their father. This is what you call your Electra complex. Okay, and the child here is actually exploring himself, no? exploring the different parts of his body, of her body. And so you'd see sometimes a child would uh, would hold his pitoy toy, no? yung, yung, yung um, sexual part niya, no? hahawakan ng, ng anak, no? hahawakan ng anak anak nyo, yung pitoy to, yung sexual parts niya. Because, of course, this is one method for the child to learn about himself. And then sometimes the child would look at himself in the mirror, would check all the parts of his or her body, okay? So that is one way, again, for the child to learn. So wag pong pagagalitan yung anak nyo pag nakikita nyo yung nilalaro niya, yung kanyang pitoy toy, no? yung kanyang bird, hindi po yan dahil manyakis yung bata. Wag nyo pong sabihan na manyakis ka talaga, manang-mana ka sa ama mo, no? Joke lamang po. Okay? Hindi po yan 
parang totoo, no? The child is actually trying to explore himself, trying to explore the different parts of his body, and he is using his his body, his own self, to explore it, uh, the different parts of the body to learn, okay? So that's a phallic stage, no? Phallic, of course, that came from the word phallus. No? So here, the boys are more attached to their mother. Again, this is your Oedipus complex, and your girls are more attached to their father. That would be your Electra complex. Now, latency stage mo dito, here, uh, this for Lolo Freud is the most boring stage, okay? Because here, the children, our children spend more time and interact mostly with the same sex peers. But again, they're very, they're very busy with schoolwork, no? So, walang sexual tension dito, no? Hindi sila nag explore sexually in your latency stage, no? Latency, sexual inactivity ito. Tinatawag na sexual inactivity ng bata. Now, genitals stage, the last stage here, this is beyond puberty, individuals are attracted to opposite sex peers. So here, uh, sometimes your genital stage is called sexual reawakening, di ba? Yung una-unang sexual awakening ng bata, where the child would explore sexually using himself, using the, his, the, the parts of his body or her body is the phallic stage. Once you get to your latency stage, wala masyadong sexual tension, no? Wala masyadong sexual activity yung bata. And so your genital stage is called your sexual reawakening. Dito ulit na buhay yung sexual tension ng bata yung sexual expo exploration ng bata, no? But ang kaibihan, kaibahan dito sa phallic stage mo, the child is just using himself or herself. Sa genital stage naman, the child is using another person, no? So, um, meron na siyang relationship, meron na siyang sexual relationship with uh, a person, no? A person of the opposite sex or maaari din namang a person of the same sex sa ating mga members ng LGBTQA+, no? So, pwede din yan sa genital stage. Okay, so again, these are different stages of Freud, psychosexual stages. Owls always play late games. That is our mnemonic, okay? Now we go to the eight stages of psych psychosocial development according to Eric Erickson. We've talked about this last time, last Sunday then, no? So we have eight stages here. And according to Eric Erickson, for you to be able to become successful in the latter stages, you should have been first become successful in the previous stages. So, dapat eh, from stage one pa lang, eh, okay na yung development ng bata para maging sobrang okay yung development niya dito, no? At, until the latter part of his life or her life, okay? So, these are the eight stages of psychosocial development. Meron po tayong video na, yung video natin na purple yung thumbnail, na may babae na purple yung thumbnail, na professional educational reviewer for that. Panoorin nyo po yan, lahat po ng stages na to, inisa-isa ko na in that video, no? So lahat halos ng theories and education, inisa-isa ko po doon, no? Makikita nyo po siya sa Facebook, nandiyan po siya sa Facebook, at nandiyan din po siya sa YouTube, no? Yung, yung purple po yung kanyang thumbnail, babae, tapos may purple na background. Okay, so again, these are the different stages of psychosocial social development according to Eric Erickson. Trust is developed, no? drive and hope is developed during infancy, trust versus mistrust, autonomy versus shame and doubt, you have initiative versus guilt, industry versus inferiority, identity versus role confusion in your adolescent stage, there's intimacy versus isolation, young adulthood, middle age, you have generativity versus stagnation. This is during the time that we are all working. And of course, you have your older adult, ego, integrity versus despair. So again, in that video, I was talking about na purple po yung thumbnail, inisa-isa ko po to, and there, um, I, I have given you a hint, no? tinuruan ko po kayo doon kung paano nyo ma-memorize itong lahat ng stages na to. Okay? So balikan nyo po yung video na yan. Huwag lamang po yung video na yan, lahat po ng video na nasa YouTube. Okay? So again, your answer for that question is social. Eric Erickson is social in nature. Now we go to number 13. If one is asked to develop himself to the fullest, what need is he or she trying to satisfy according to Maslow's hierarchy of needs? This is letter A, safety needs, letter B, physiological needs, letter C, self-actualization, or letter D, belongingness. What's the answer? Mm-hmm. Mahirap magalit si Junjun. Kayo ha, mga team YouTube ha. Si Junjun na naman yung pinagdiskitahan nyo. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mom, a shout out to Mix Manaay. This is from Mom Janelle Riza Domingo. Dami ko na send sa FB page, wala po reply sa akin. Okay, so Sir Mix po, we'll take a look at your your message. Make sure na nasa FB page po natin ha, hindi po sa group, hindi po sa comment, i-PM niyo po. Yes, Ma'am Evelyn Bayhonan, Ma'am, pag ang babae close to her father, Electra Complex, yes po. Electra Complex, pag ang lalaki naman po ay close sa kanyang mother, that would be your Oedipus, Oedipus Complex. First time watching ng live stream. Good evening. Pa-shout out po, Juvelin and Dahlia. Watching from Davao. Hello, Ma'am Juvelin and Ma'am Dahlia. First time nilang mag-watch ng live stream. Uh, yung mga Junjun na nandyan sa Team YouTube. Ano na? Okay, number 13. Going back to the question here. Of course, we know that this is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. No? This is about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, um, OPM Dyson, our top fan. Thank you po. Sir Arnel Busmion, top fan. Thank you po. Maraming salamat. For those of you who have started a watch party, shared our video, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Late na. Sir Jeremy Malto Romero. Ay, nako sir, hindi mo naabutan si Junjun. Okay, number 13. If one is asked to develop himself to the fullest, what need is he or she trying to satisfy according to Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Your key here, of course, would be developing himself to the fullest. And the correct answer, of course, would be self-actualization. Okay, self-actualization is the correct answer. Now, going back to Mesa's hierarchy of needs, remember, lahat sila may mga hierarchy, hierarchy, no? may mga taxonomy, okay? So this is your, your hierarchy of needs according to Maslow, Abraham Maslow. And uh, for him, the very first uh, need that you should be able to satisfy would be your physiological needs. So dapat ay humihinga ka muna, may enough food ka, may water ka, may sex, okay? So sex here, is an example of a physiological need. May enough sleep, homeostasis, that means your body can man maintain its internal state of balance, no? May excretion, so hindi din po pwede, hindi ka na poops for several days, no? That is a physiological need, no? Need yan ang body natin, no? For the body to function properly, Again, you should be able to breathe, you have food, you have food, water, sex, sleep, homeostasis, internal state of balance. So, hindi po pwedeng masyadong mataas yung inyong body temperature. Dapat e balik siya sa 37 degrees Celsius, which is the normal body temperature. And dapat, of course, napupup siya o oh, na, um, regular yung, yung, yung inyong excretion. Okay? So, that's your physiological needs. Now, right after you have satisfied this, e po pwede ka nang mag-go to the next level, which is safety. Okay? So, safety that's the next level, no? Security of your body, your employment, resources, morality, uh, security or, or safety of your family, of health and property, no? So marahil eh, marami sa atin nagka-problema dito ngayon sa safety because of course, uh, we are faced with a lot of uncertainties because of the pandemic that we are currently facing. No, marami na wala ng trabaho, no? So, dumidiskarte yung iba sa atin, no? Kailangan talagang dumiskarte para mabuhay. Okay? So, kanya-kanyang diskarte po tayo ngayon. But of course, wag po tayong susuko. Alam natin that life has become more difficult because of the pandemic, pero push lang po, mag-pray, you talk with your neighbor, no? Um, kaya naging advantage yung mga merong mga vegetable plants sa likod ng bahay po pwedeng kumain ng gulay-gulay uh, na muna. No? I know, napakataas na ng bilihin dyan. No? Yung baboy, eh, magkano na ba yung kilo ng baboy? Okay? So, safety, that is part of your safety, your employment, security mo. Okay? For your family, for your health, for your property. Now, the next level would be love and belonging. Okay? So, there's friendship here, there's family, there's sexual intimacy. Okay? So, these are the needs that we have, uh, the need to belong, the need, the need for love. 
Okay, then of course you have your esteem, self-esteem, the confidence, achievement, respect of others, and respect by others. Of course, you you really have to start with yourself. Dapat ikaw mismo, meron kang self-esteem, meron kang bilhib sa sarili mo, no? So if hindi na ka pa sa pre-qualifying pre exam kahapon at kanina, okay lang po yan. Push mo pa rin yung self mo. Dahil walang maniniwala sa sarili mo kung hindi ka naniniwala mismo sa sa'yo, no? Kung walang maniniwala sa'yo pag hindi ka mismo naniniwala sa sarili mo. So push lang ng push alam mo yung inyong kakayahan at kung alam mo medyo may kulang eh i-push mo kung saan mang factor yan no? saan mang area yung meron kang pagkukulang eh go lang ng go pagyabungin mo po yung inyong knowledge do not stop no don't give up Okay, because uh, the person who determines your your reality, who the person who determines your future is also yourself, no? So, walang ibang tao na pwede kang sisihin pag hindi ka nakapasa, kundi yung sarili mo, maaari meron kang kakulangan. So, we still have time, we still have um, more than a month, no? So, push lang po, no? So, you tell yourself, self, kaya mo yan, kaya kaya yan self, no? Boost yourself. And so, this is also very important when you are, you are parents, you are... Uh, um, teachers of very young kids, so you should boost their self-esteem, boost their confidence. No, I push mo sila. Don't say that uh, you can't do this. Oh, you're very bad. Oh, you're. Do not discourage your child. No, kailang i boost mo talaga. I'm always. Um, my my child would always tell me, I can be everything I want to be, mommy. Yes, you can because you're the best. You're awesome. You're good. You're like this. No, you might not be good at something, but you can still be good at another thing. No, and uh, even as young as my child, no, three years old, palam. She is turning four in March. Uh, but uh, she already understands that it's okay to lose. No, if you lose, it's okay. The most important thing is you've learned. It's okay to make mistakes. No, and the most important thing is you learn and that you you push yourself. No, try to become better. So my child would always say, "It's okay to lose. If you lose, just do your best. No, do your best next time. It's okay to make mistakes. No, just don't be scared to make mistakes." So kung papalu in yung bata pag merong ginawang hindi maganda yung anak ko eh nagdudro sa wall, naglalagay ng sticker ng kung Ano, ano, no? uh, sometimes would smear the, the carpet, but it's okay because my child is learning, and that's that's my goal. No, my child would I want my child to learn, I want my child child to explore, I want my child not to be scared to make mistakes. Okay, so my child would sometimes ask, Mommy, it's okay. I have some some chocolate on my pillow, or I have some chocolate on my on my blanket. It's okay, it's okay, but next time don't do it again, okay? So paalalahanin lang yung bata, explain sa bata kung bakit mali, but of course it's very very important that your child knows that it's okay to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. No one is perfect. We all are making mistakes. And the most important thing is we learn from our mistake. Okay? So that's your self-esteem. I-push nyo yung anak nyo. Pagyabungin yung self-confidence ng anak nyo. Kung hindi siya magaling sa spelling, baka magaling siya sa math. Kung hindi siya magaling sa math, sa spelling, sa English, baka magaling siya mag-drawing. Or baka magaling siyang kumantam. Baka magaling siyang uh, sumayaw, no? Nurture the gift. Do not say, do not Compare your child especially to another child or maybe to his or her sibling, okay? Each person is unique. Each individual is unique. Okay, self-actualization. Of course, this is the highest level according to Maslow. This is the best version of yourself. So you should already have your morality, creativity, spontaneity, your problem solving, lack of prejudice, acceptance of acceptance of facts. Okay, so dapat talaga napakalaki ng ating uh, ambag as a teacher, especially if teacher ka ng young kids, no? And especially if you are a parent, okay? So dapat hinuhubog mo to, lahat, ay bigay mo sa, sa anak mo, give him a chance to learn, give him a chance to make mistakes, and give him a chance to reach self-actualization. Okay? So, ito yung Mesa's hierarchy of needs. Alright? Now, going to question number 14 dito, nakikinig lang ako kay Junjun, sabi ni Sir ni Kapitan Emerson Barbosa dito. Number 14, intelligent group does the research with self in home or school which trains them to be the best they can be. Is this letter A, interpersonal, letter B, naturalist, letter C, interpersonal, or letter D, linguistic? Okay, what do you think is the correct answer? Okay, may update dito. Gurong Pinoy, update. To those who paid today, just wait until 12 midnight po. Nasa 10% pa lang po ako sa pagsagot at pag-add sa lahat na nag-inquire today. Thank you po mga kaguro. Okay, uh, um, nahina po yung kalaban. No? Mag-isa lang si Sir Migs, no? Right after this, I might be able to help him. 
Pero pa isa-isa po kasi tinitingnan namin, syempre iba-iba yung concern nyo, meron nagbabayad, meron nag inquire meron merong ganito, hindi makapasok sa Google Classroom, hindi mahihanap yung grow, no? hindi alam ko nasan yung Google, Google Classroom, hindi nag-join sa Google Classroom, no? sa iisa-isahin mo po talaga yan. Okay, so kalma lamang po kayo, we are legit, we are not scammers po, no? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sir Albert Ray Butalon. Wow, thanks ma. Best motivation especially, especially sa aking sa akin as retaker. Okay, wala naman pong uh wala tayong limit no. Ika nga sabi natin eh kanya-kanya time time, kanya-kanya time timeline no. Hindi naman lahat nagiging successful at one point no. Isang isang try mo lang eh successful ka agad, no? Hindi naman po pwedeng ganun. Hindi naman po pwedeng lahat is successful. Ano nang mangyayari sa PRC pag lahat pumasa, no? So meron talagang maliligwa, kanya-kanyang time. Pag naligwa ka dati, ito na yung chance mo na makapasa, okay? So wag mo pong i-underestimate yung sarili mo. Wag mo pong uh, wag kang paghinaan ng loob, no? Wag mong wag mong sisihin yung sarili mo, no? I-push mo yung sarili mo. Wala pong ibang magpo-push sa inyo. Po pwedeng may mag-motivate sa inyo na kaibigan mo, um, kapatid mo, nanay mo, tatay mo, no, family member mo. But of course, ikaw po mismo yung kailangan mag-push sa sarili mo, no? So wala pong ibang makakatulong once you go to your testing center to your to your school assignment you take the let ikaw lamang mag-isa doon no maaring meron kang maalala mga tinuro ko no tinuro ng kung sino or sa, sa mga nabasa mo but of course that's only going to be you your test paper and of course god okay so magpray din mag-ask for guidance na hindi ka marattle na hindi ka ma mental block no yan yung uh, ating fear baka eh super prepared ka pero no mental block ka naman pagdating doon Okay, so dapat eh, kalma nga, sabi ko nga, eh, no, pag mayroong boyfriend, girlfriend, asawa, huwag muna mag-away on the day prior to the let, no? on the week prior to the let. So sabihin mo sa boyfriend mo, gusto ko nang i-break kita, gusto na, na talaga kitang i-break, pero huwag muna ngayon. Hintayin ko after the let. No? May araw ka din, sabihin mo sa kanya. No? Huwag muna before the let. Huwag, wala muna ang issue before the let. Okay, now going back to the question here, Black Intelligent Group does the research with self, that's your hint here, self, in home or school, which trains them to be the best they can be. And of course, we know this to be letter A, intrapersonal, okay? Intra, of course, this means within, no? So within the person, when you say intramural, no? That is a competition within your school, no? So within your school na within your school lang. Interpersonal, of course, this is uh, your people smart na, na mga tao, no? So, those people who are very sociable. Naturalists, we've already talked about this, your plantitos, plantitas. Linguistic, of course, uh, these are people who are very well-versed. These are people who are very eloquent, okay? So, letter A pong tamang sagot for number 14, intrapersonal. No, number 15, this is a very common let question. Paulit-ulit na to. Last weekend yata, meron din tayong almost similar na question, if not the same, no? 15, according to Vygotsky, blank is an instructional technique whereby the teacher models the desired learning strategy or task then gradually shifts their responsibility to the students. Is this letter A, scaffolding? Letter B, inspiring? Letter C, challenging? Letter D, motivating? What do you think is the correct answer for question 15? Mag-PPM po ba kayo mamaya, ma'am? Bayad na po kasi ako kanina ng all-in-one promo. Nasend ko po yung resibo. Yes po, Sir JP Pao, kalma lang po. No? Uunahin po kita, Sir JP. Right after my live stream po, tutulungan ko po si Sir Mix Manaay. Sabi nga ni Sir Mix, oh, na, nasa 10% pa lang daw po siya. No? Kasi pa-isa-isa pa -isa po kasi, no? iba-iba yung concern nyo. Pa isa-isa, of course, uh, we read your messages. Merong ibang kailangang i-add sa group, merong i-add sa major, merong i-add sa grow, no? So, isa-isahin po yan. And of course, uh, meron din namang uh, iba yung question, no? May, may question na ganito, may question about sa PRC, may question about sa whatever, no? So, isa-isahin po natin yan. Okay, we will get back to you po. Huwag po kayo mag-alala. Date sa Feb 14, swab later, sabi dito ni uh, Sir Opie M. D. San, our top fan. First time po, shout out kay Gabby at Awing from Davao. Good luck sa exam. Hello po, uh, Sir Oriel Oying Rodip. 
Go lang ng go. Laban lang po. Okay, what is the correct answer here? A lot of you, of course, are answering letter A. You're saying scaffolding. And of course, scaffolding is the correct answer. Okay, so letter A, scaffolding is the correct answer dito. Okay, so there is a um, comment here. No, Sir Ralph, Joseph, and Painado, sana po may video about kay Vygotsky, hindi lang sa 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 scaffolding kasi last September 2019 puro theories ni Vygotsky lumabas scaffolding lang alam ko okay so we will uh, make sure no we will try to uh, make a video on that Sir Ralph okay so letter A po tamang sagot dito scaffolding that is the correct answer now we go to number 16 the Educational Act of 1992 expressly granted to institutions of higher learning the freedom to determine on academic grounds who shall be the subjects of study and research this refers to letter A, academic freedom, letter B, educational freedom, letter C, institutional freedom, or letter D, constitutional freedom. What's the answer? Uh -huh. uh, Sir Johnny Manuel, Magkano final coaching, ma'am? Uh, we have our intensive coaching that's going to start on March 6. That is 1,000 pesos. But if you can pay prior to that, Paul, because if you pay prior to that, Pareho lang po kasi siya ng presyo sa GROW, no? So, pag nagpa-member kayo ng GROW, which is Gen Ed Prof Ed, uh, for example, as soon as you can, you can be added to GROW and you can see all the materials that we have here, uh, there on GROW. And of course, your, your intensive coaching is going to be for free, okay? So, it's better if you become a member of GROW um, as soon as you can. Hmm. Ro Sir Robert Andrew Baldado, ano po ba date nung sa mga annex annex ma'am? Dapat ba date 15 days before exam? I I'm pretty sure it's 14 days prior to the exam. So mga March 12, March 13 ay magpa-quarantine na po kayo. Final coaching again, Ma'am Eileen Castronuevo. You can enroll po through GROW. And GROW po is 1,000. That's Gen Ed Prof Ed. You can see all the, the materials that we have in GROW. You can download them. Mag-download po kayo ng, mag-install po kayo ng PDF reader, no? Kung gusto nyo nasa cellphone nyo lang at hindi nyo ipiprint, no? So uh, that's 1,000. And of course, your intensive coaching will be for free. Libre na po siya. Libre din po yung pre-board. Sir, uh, si Ma'am Loyalin Bancali da Kipel, ating top fan. Maraming salamat po. Ma'am Edna Balisteros, top fan. Sir Nakayama Isuke, si Sir ne Nemuel, maraming salamat po. Top fan. Ma'am Lea May Brosas Alcaide, top fan natin. Thank you po. And Ma'am Jenny Lynn Abuel Alejandria, maraming salamat po. Okay, number 16 here, the correct answer, of course, would be letter A. This is Academic Freedom no? Education Act of 1992, granted institutions of higher learning. That means tertiary level lamang po ito, no? hindi po basic ed yung sa cloud nito. Higher learning lamang, tertiary level, that would be academic freedom. Okay, so academic freedom, that is the correct answer for 16. Now we go to number 17, whenever possible, the proper authorities shall take all steps to enable married couples, both of whom are public school teachers, to be employed in the same locality. Is it letter A? Yes, it is provided in Republic Act uh, 4670. No, it's against nepotism. Letter C, yes, as long as they will not be in the same school. Letter D, no, it is against the provision of RA 4670. What's the correct answer? Um, Ma'am Gutual Melissa, our top fan, sabi Ma'am Mech, ano po ba yung Annex A and B? Yung Annex A and B po, ito po yung uh, nire-require ng PRC ngayon, no? Because of the pandemic, meron po silang annexes na binigay. And there is, you should have a quarantine pass, no? Na signed by the proper authorities. Po pwedeng private doctor, public doctor, po pwede din yung inyong BHW na nakapag-quarantine po kayo ng 14 days prior to the let. Okay, so Annex... Um, a and B, if you are on grow po, nakapost na po yan doon. I will try to check if I can repost it. If you are also in another, yung let natin na group, no? Group Pinoy Let Online group na hindi yun yung grow, hindi yun yung exclusive group natin. Yung parang yung information lamang kung saan tayo nagda-download ng ibang files, meron din po yan doon. Okay? If whoever among you here has that file, kung po pwede po, i-share nyo kay Mang Gutual, Melissa. Ay, mga taga-copies. Hello, kawai-kawai. Sir Kenichi Lorbes. 
from copies. Malapit lang sa Iloilo. Uh, Mami Dev Tanudra, rural health unit po sa amin ayaw magbigay ng certificate of quarantine kung walang travel history. Ano po dapat gawin? Sabihin niyo po ma'am na kailangan niyo po to take the let. Okay? So, po pwede po silang magbigay. So, yung advice ko nga po sa inyo, before you started your quarantine, sabihin niyo na sa inyong rural health unit or BHW sa barangay niyo na magka-quarantine po ako because I will be taking the let and I will need a certificate na signed by you. Uh, yung RT-PCR po, hindi po kailangan if you are not included. Si Sir Sherwin Zarate, no? good eve po ma'am. Need po ba magpa-RT-PCR po for board exam? Uh, sir, hindi po kailangan if you are not under group 1. Yung group 1 po natin sinasabi ay yung mga nag-travel in the past 3 months, yung mga nakasalamuha, na, yung meron kang um, nasa contact tracing list ka, na yung meron kang nakasalamuha na nag-positive, frontliner ka, for example, yun lamang po yung required na magpaswap. Maraming salamat sa ating mga top fan, Ma'am Ima Adobo Hayat. Thank you po sa mga nag-share ng video, mga nag-start ng watch party. Maraming salamat po. Okay, now number 17, whenever possible, the proper authorities shall take all steps. The correct answer here, of course, would be letter A. Okay, so letter A po ang ating tamang sagot dito. Salamat sa magandang explanation, ma'am. Hashtag first timer, ma'am Rhea May Balabagan on team um, YouTube. Okay, so this is actually provided in your RA 467E, the Magna Carta for Public School Teachers, no? This is in Section 11 for Married Teachers. Again, this is in 467E, RA 467E, Magna Carta for Public School Teachers. Section 11 for Married Teachers, whenever possible, the proper authorities shall take all steps to enable married couples, both of whom are public school teachers, to be employed in the same locality. Okay, so mga mag-aasawa, so mga mag-asawang teachers, no, nilalagay sila sa the same um, locality. Okay, so that's section 11. Now we go to number 18, third to the last question, Pres Presidential Decree 1006, otherwise known as the Decree Professionalizing Teaching, was promulgated to, is it letter A, regulate the practice of teaching, letter B, to ensure that teacher education is of the highest quality, letter C, assess prospective teachers' knowledge and skills and competencies, or letter D, all of the above. What's the answer? Mm -hmm. uh, may nagtatanong dito, ma'am may bayad po, Sir Albert, ma'am may bayad po yung pag-support, it's uh, $1.99 po yata. Sir, if you become a supporter, again, I will be making videos for our supporters, no? para uh, may use naman yung kanilang pagiging supporter. Sir Albert Baste Villora. Na busted. Joke lang, sir, ah. Um, sir Siren, Galimba, ma'am, ask ko lang if mag-enroll ako sa major ko, Biosci. Kasali na ba ang Prof. Ed at Gen Ed? Meron po tayong all-in-one, ma'am. If you want Prof. Ed, Gen Ed, and your Biosci, that's only 1,500. Okay, so lahat na po yun, yung Prof. Ed, Gen Ed, at Biosci, no? And I, of course, I'm your coach for your bio major. So magpa-enroll na po kayo. Uh -huh. Letter D, sabi ni Sir Jeremy Malto Romero. Letter D, kita iiwan. Aba, hugot. Okay, number 18. What do you think is the correct answer? Of course, this is letter D, no? So all of these are actually under your Decree Professionalizing Teacher, PD 1006. Teacher Professionalization Act ito. So letter A, regulate the practice of teaching. They're trying to control the practice of teaching, checking everything no, with regards to teaching, ensuring that teacher education is of the highest quality, and of course, they assess the prospective teacher's knowledge, skills, and competencies. Kaya tayo may practice teaching, no? Okay, so letter D, that's the correct answer. Now we go to number 19. Vox Populi S Suprema Lex is a Latin expression that means what? What's the answer? Teacher, teach Jomar Donde. What if Mamek major lang po sa salian? 1,000 po yung ating major, sir. Kung kanina eh, kung nakafollow kayo sa Facebook page natin, kanina naglagay kami ng 50% off, but that was only for today. No? Nag-50% off po kami kanina. 
Okay, Sir JP Milby, ma'am, pwede po kayo gumawa ng video about research and methods. Dami daw po kasi mga questions daw dyan. Yes, I will po. Okay, so you have so many requests. I will uh, try to make a list of them. And of course, uh, just pray that I have lots of time, free time, so that I can make those videos. I'm trying to, I will make uh, technology, no? The technology terms natin, yung infusion, active, all those things, uh, transformation, yung adaptation, adoption, that's for your supporters. That's for our supporters. Ano nga yung kanina, sir? Vygotsky. Okay. All right, now... Many of you are answering letter C. Watching from San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, Ma'am Aquila B. Ah, matagal na to si Ma'am Aquila. Na nanonood sa atin. Okay, now number 19. We have a Latin expression here and we are looking for its meaning. Okay, Vox Populi es Suprema Lex. Of course, the correct answer here would be the voice of the people is the supreme law okay voice of the people vax populi supreme law that would be suprema lex okay so the correct answer there would be letter c letter c po ang tamang sagot all right now we go to number 20 last question for today scouting and citizens army training or cat give training in character building citizenship training etc this leads to the creation of a new social order and a new society eventually what philosophy Philosophy supports this. It's a letter A, existentialism. Letter B, perennialism. Letter C, progressivism. Or letter D, social reconstructivism. What's the correct answer for number 20? Uh, Sir Michael Reyes, ma'am, kailan po final coaching in major? Mapi major here. I think um, I will be finalizing with your coach, no? si Coach Renan. He's actually already planning to, to have your Zoom. No? Mag-Zoom yata kayo. And I will be asking him. Okay, so I will ask him. And of course, that is going to be paulit-ulit, Sir Michael. Okay, that's going to be prior to your let, of course. Okay, so what do you think is the correct answer for this question? Last question for today. All right, so again, you are given the question here, Scouting and Citizens Army Training, or CAT. Give training in character building, citizenship training, etc. This leads to the creation of a new social order and a new society eventually. What philosophy supports this? Of course, you know that the correct answer here would be letter D, okay? This is social reconstructivism when you are teaching your students to change the society, you know, teaching them some ideas, some skills, so that they can make your society a better society. So that is social reconstructivism. Again, existentialism is when the students are given a choice, given um, the freedom of, of, but of course, they should be responsible for that freedom. Perennialism is when you are telling them, you're showing them, you're teaching them unchanging truths, no universal and unchanging truths. That's perennialism. Progressivism, of course, these are modern day methods of teaching your students. So there's individualized instruction, there's discovery, le discovery learning, experimentation, there's multiple intelligences, no? So that's under progressivism. So again, the correct answer here would be. Letter D, that's social reconstructivism. Okay, yes. Okay, so we have already taken note, no? Meron tayong, um, marami kayo nagre-request ng, ang uh, tawag dito, research. Uh-huh. Ano po to? Sir Jervy Bukala Mamek, what if po, kung magbabayad pa po bukas para sa promo, mapavalidate po ba yun? Nagka-problema kasi kanina, ma'am, or babalik po sa normal payment? Send a message po to our Facebook page, no? Para i-consider po ni Sir Migs. 
any results for the both pre-qualifying exams in Google Classroom po, I will be posting that on Grow. So just give me a chance, no? I will be going back to your to your uh dito? to your uh, pre-qualifying exam, no? Sa inyong results. I will be taking 40%, of course, from your Gen Ed and 60% from your Prof Ed because, of course, we have our uh, list of winners and our winners, of course, are going to be receiving our prizes. Okay, so that ends tonight's discussion. But, of course, before we go to our... Uh, before we go to our um, prayer, to our open, uh, closing prayer, let's first go back to your Mahiwagang Tambiolo. Sana wag maghang, no? So balikan natin itong ating Mahiwagang Tambiolo for the remaining siyang Okay? So nine winners pa. So Sir Nelson Matugina, nanalo na. Ma'am Irene Montefalcon and Ma'am Trixie Escoto. Siyang po. Ayan na. We start. Yan na naman ang kaba. Okay, next winner, Sir Javier Silot Credo Jr. Si Sir Javier Credo yata to, no, sa Team YouTube. Okay, so Sir Javier Credo, that's the fourth lucky winner of our uh, raffle. Ayan na naman, naghang na naman ako, no? Okay, next. Teka. Nakakapaghang itong ating mahiwagang tambiolo. Okay. Hopefully, eh, nakikita nyo yung video. Nakahang yata. Sir Michael Angelo Reyes, Team YouTube. Sir Michael Reyes, nanalo. Okay, Sir Michael. That is already the fifth, fifth winner that we have. Okay, sixth winner. Okay naman yung voice, no? Nagahang lang yung video dahil sa tambiolo yan. Okay, Ma'am Nika Hidalgo. Saan si Ma'am Nika Hidalgo? Team YouTube ba or Team Facebook si Ma'am Nika Hidalgo? Okay, so that is our sixth winner. We proceed to our seventh winner. Okay, hanging lang itong ating uh, mahiwagang tambiolo. Hindi yata kaya ng live stream. Ayun, si Ma'am Irene Montefalcon. Ay, nan nanalo ka po kanina. From Team YouTube pala si Ma'am Irene. Aha, nagahang po siya. Uh, okay, pag hindi po kaya, i-video ko na lamang po ah, the rest of the winners. Kasi eh, nagahang po yung ating mahiwagang tambiolo. Hindi niya kaya. Okay, hindi yata kaya ng ating mahiwagang tambiolo. All right, now we are going back to that later, no? Nakahang po siya. And so meron na po tayong six lucky winners. Balikan ko po yan later at i-video ko na lamang po. Okay, dahil uh, nagahang po. Oh, loading. Loading na tayo. Oh, pabalik na. Nasa na yung ating prayer? Okay, yon. Okay, hopefully ay ma-play ma -play itong ating closing prayer. Okay, so samahan niyo po ako sa ating closing prayer. This still has been prepared for us by Brother Efren Esteban. No? Hindi kaya ng ating, uh, habang nagla-live stream ay may mahiwagang tabiolo. So balikan ko po yan later and of course I will just be uh, recording that. Okay, so we proceed to our closing prayer. Hopefully okay na. Muli po tayong manalangin. Our great God, salamat po sa oras po na ito na ibinigay mo sa amin na naging matagumpay po ang aming pag-aaral. Sana po marami po kaming mga natutunan. O Diyos, sana po ipatuloy mo po kaming pagpalain sa mga plano po namin, Panginoon. Ikaw po ang aming dakilang pastol at ikaw po ay naghahanda ng lugar para sa amin. Sana po ay maganap na po ang mga ninanais po ng aming mga puso. Alam mo po yung mga pagsisikap namin, mga sacrifices namin para matupad po ang mga pangarap po namin na ito. Sana po sa lahat po ng mga member ng Gurong Pinoy International, sana po ipagpalain mo. Lalo po Panginoon na malapit na po ang exam, patibayin mo po ang aming loob, palakasin niyo po ang aming damdamin Panginoon na hindi po kami matakot sa halip, uh, mas lalo po kaming maghanda Panginoon. Salamat po sa 
sakripisyo ni Ma'am Meg at ni Sir Ram para po sa bawat isa sa amin. Panginoon, salamat po sa lahat at ibinibigay po namin lahat yung mga concern namin sa inyo. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, ito po ang mga aming dalangin. Amen. Amen. Para sa ating mga kapatid na Kristiyano and of course, amin para sa ating mga kapatid na Muslim. All right, that ends tonight's discussion. Huwag pong kalimutan na sa uh, upcoming week po ay Friday, Saturday po ang ating magiging live stream, no? Libre po kayo sa Valentine's Day. So kayo na pong bahala kung paano nyo po isispend yun, no? Alagaan po mabuti yung mga sarili, no? Huwag po tayong magkasakit. Haan, no? Um, huwag po nating hayaan na magkasakit tayo. And of course, let's try to prepare really well for your upcoming let. Sa muli, ito po si Coach Mac na inyong Gurong Pinoy. And I leave you the saying, malik manabutil ng mga kaalaman. Ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginawaan. Maraming salamat po. And good night, mga kaguro. Bye!